And right now on ITV1, messing around on the river in the hope of making some cash. It's sink or swim in everything must go. Clayton? Yeah? I thought you said you were going to take me for a leisurely drive. No, no, you can't hear me. I said a leisurely dive. Come on. You what? In the canal. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Welcome to a very special edition of Everything Must Go. Not because we're sitting in a, in a car in a canal, but because for a change we don't have somebody who's downsizing or decluttering or even moving to a smaller property. In fact, they've got a space they want to fill. That's right. This is the great Ashby Canal. And we've got a bit of a mission today. The mission is to raise money and raise profile for a massive project to restore a long-lost section of the Ashby Canal. We're driving on a recently rebuilt section at Moira in northwest Leicestershire. It's about halfway between Birmingham and Nottingham. Part of the Ashby Canal fell victim to mining substance following World War II and to increasing competition from road and rail transport. With no money to make repairs, a 10-mile section of canal was drained and the cobalt then used the space created to dump colliery waste. Ambitious plans aim to dig that all out again and reopen the canal for leisure and tourism. Now, Brian, Jeff, thank you very much for inviting us aboard. Um, great boat. Now, it is unusual for us. We're normally clearing things out, and you've got a huge space. Is it five or six miles of canal that you need to fill? Yeah, it's already filled, actually, but it's what we want to do is to replace what it's filled with and fill it again with water. Now, that's collier waste, is it? It's in colliery there? waste. In 1947, when the coal board took over all the collieries and the nationalisation scheme. It was a good place, the old canal, to put colliery spoil. And, uh, and it did two jobs. It filled the canal in which it was no longer used, and it also got rid of the colliery spoil. So we're here to bring it back to life, is that right? That's the general idea. And what's your involvement, um, Jeff, with the, with the waterways here? Well, I mean, I've been involved with canals for about 25, 30 years, personally. But um, some years ago, I took a job with the local authority, Leicester County Council, who have taken the lead in the actual practical restoration of the canal. And they've taken the lead themselves, some of the local volunteers and supporters who have been campaigning for the canal to be restored for well, 20, 30 years now, probably. In fact, not long after it was filled in, I should think. Obviously, we've done a bit of groundwork, and we've decided between us, I think, that we need to have a sale and an auction, but of course we need to sell something. So if we can perhaps <laughs> lean on the community, and perhaps with your help as well, we get a lot of donations coming in, Absolutely. we'll have some stuff to sell, raise some money. The, ad the advantage of the waterway is for the community, and the community will be totally supportive of it, I've no doubt. Ah, the peace and beauty of the Ashby Canal, a haven for wildlife. But no rest for the wicked, there's a sale to organise. Jeff's drafted in his 1950s traveller to bring in extra trestle tables. The sale starts in just a few hours. It's at the Moira Miners Welfare Sports and Social Club. Now, as well as the money, raising profile is the name of the game for this multi-million pound restoration project. There's loads of hard work ahead and a gang of stout-hearted local folk and canal supporters have volunteered to help. Time to have a look around the nearby village of Misham. When the Ashby Canal is restored, there'll be a marina at the heart of Misham. And I want to see how it looks now. The water level was actually a lot lower back then. You can actually tell from the side of the building. Underneath all this tarmac, all the coal waste and possibly other household waste would now be lying. Can you just imagine what it's going to look like in a few years' time if this project actually does go ahead? And all this tarmac's lifted up and you can actually see through what would have been bridge number 65. I'm at the Misham Village Museum. It's won several awards for its exhibitions and displays some very special locally made teapots. Now, you're Tom Henshaw. You're, you're the president of the Ashby Canal Association. Afraid so, yes. When did you start that? Um, February 1966. We wanted to stop British waterways from closing any more of the canal. We failed on that. Um, very sad, but we failed. Now, this is quite an extraordinary place, and you can see we've got some teapots here. Um, now, 
Everyone has a different name for these. Uh, uh, bargeware, canalware, what would you call these? Uh, Mishamware. Mishamware. I understand you've got a donation for us. Is it, was it by any chance one of these? It's uh, one of these, which is a, a commemorative uh, teapot, and uh, this is actually the last one available. Is it really? Oh, right. I feel really honoured then. And, uh, so if this is the last <laughs> one, it also celebrates the fact it's been around for 200 years. Well, yes, the canal's been open for 200 years. Um, it's a very modern teapot, though. Well, 200 days, maybe. This should go to auction, of course. Yeah. It's what it's all about, isn't it? It's what it's all so about. So we should do well with this. Thank you ever so much. And My thank pleasure. you for your time. It's been lovely to meet you. Thank you. Thank you. I come down here to the Ashby Canal to meet with Linda and Terry Wright. They're craftspeople who paint the canalware or or bargeware, as it's often known. The sort of things you see when you're walking down the towpath on the longboats, things like milk churns and the like. And believe it or not, this is the end of the road for the Ashby Canal. Look, <laughs> it's a dead end. And hopefully, Linda and Terry are going to moor up in a few minutes' time. We've boated about 20 years, but we've actually lived on the water for the last seven. Lots of people you talk to rate it as one of their favourite canals throughout the system. It's, it's all rural, there's no locks, um, and it's just a beautiful canal with a lot of history on it. Every summer we put the stall up um, to get hold of the boaters as they come up to water up, and um, we sell stuff from there to raise money for the Ashby Canal. And could this be some of the stuff? Yeah, they're just the different stages. You start off with your, your banding up and that's ready for a castle and then you go to putting your, your bases on yes. and then that's when you've got your leaves and that's ready for the petals. This is the finished item. Well, I know that you've come to make a donation. Let me have a little guess which one it would be. <laughs> it would be the finished one. Yes. yes. Um, how much would that retail for normally? Give me a handle. Is it £28? That sounds like an absolute bargain. That's yeah. something which probably takes you the best part of the day. Or more. 28 hours. There's an awful lot of work goes into them. Well, I think I'll be able to get more than £28. Can't guarantee it, but I'm going to gun for it at today's sale. First time I met Brian, yeah. if I remember right, it was in 1990, probably July, I think, I can't swear to the day, I don't know the weather, when we were found the members of the Misham Canal Restoration Group. Well, in 1983, we took over the management of Moira Furnace, which is an 1804 Napoleonic type blast furnace. And we thought, what a damn good idea it would be to walk out of the furnace and look either direction, left or right, and see the canal disappearing in the, in the distance. Just a couple hundred yards in each direction. Just a couple of hundred yards, just to, I mean, people can look at water, they just sit there and look at water. So we thought, let's try and resurrect this Ashby Canal, which is why we've got it today. Now here's your chance to win £1,000 in today's competition. Early on we saw one of these, a Mishamware teapot in the Misham Village Museum. And the question is this, Mishamware was popular with people who used a certain type of transport. What was it? A, road transport, B, air transport, or C, canal transport. If you think you know the answer, just give us a call. Call this number, it's 090 Calls cost 50p from a BT landline, and of course mobile, call costs may vary. Entrance must be over 18. Whilst Breezy is messing about with the local boaters, I'm off to play at Conkers, just over the road from the sale venue at the Miners' Welfare. Conkers is the name for the National Forest Visitor Centre built on the old colliery site. I'm with Joy Tag, a miner's daughter, who now works here as front of house manager. Now, this is really designed for children mainly, isn't it, families? It is. Uh, it's all uh, regenerated uh, ground and environmental friendly with our education team uh, on board who run educational programmes the children and it's all uh, about a hands-on interactive hands-on with the nature trails little walks um, quizzes clues little footprints that can follow it's, I mean it's beautiful Th this was a, what was this a pit or a bath this was, this a... was um, a bath yard uh, years ago they used to uh, actually bring all the heavy high haulage vehicles into the site and the actual pit was adjacent to the bath yard right. so why are you supporting Ashby Canal 
because we obviously hold the main basin in uh, our waterside car park. Uh, in the past, we've actually run our events with them or tried to support them because obviously it's all local, area-based, and uh, we work very, very close in contact with them. You're being very kind and giving us a donation, which presumably we can sell at the cell or possibly raise money at the auction. We are. We're Would it be in there be, by any chance? It is, and we're going to be giving away two local annual memberships to join us for one whole annual year. Oh, for a family? For a family. For, for a family. For a family. So two adults and two children. Right, the hands-on experience at the heart of the National, National Forest. Forest. So they're worth what? How much are they worth each? £35. And these are two day tickets right. for two families worth the value of £17.50 to come and visit us for one whole day. Well, that's wonderful. That's extremely generous. I do hope we'll raise money. I mean, it is about local people. And, of course, it is about getting the canal uh, once again filled. And I thank you very much indeed. Thank you. Northwest Leicestershire is a beautiful part of the country. It's got the Ashby Canal coming back to life and it's at the centre of England's new national forest. I've moved on to Fountain Timber Products, a company based next door to Conkers. We make quite a lot of the products that you're seeing here, but others are buying from other suppliers. But um, it's here, really, because the National Forest is obviously about growing timber and, and the forest needs to work. Absolutely. Great place to be located. And, uh, Absolutely, yeah. Well, I know that you've kindly made a donation. I think it might just be this bench over here. This is the one we're donating, yes. It's pressure-treated softwood. Mm -hmm. um, it should last 15, 20 years without any treatment at all. And certainly from a preservative point of view, it's not never going to rot. So to Grab a seat. Thank you. Take the load off. We think it, what the retail is, £200 or so? Yes, £199 we retail is that. Well, I hope we'll get that today at the auction. I hope so. Thank you very much indeed on behalf of everything that's going and also the waterways as well. Thanks, Jane. Thank you very All much. All the best, Jane. Cheers. <laughs> So, wonderful donations from all sorts of local companies and local people. There's one thing they all have in common, a real affection for the Ashby Canal. Everyone's working hard so that sections like this will soon look like this. More donations for our fundraising sale and auction to come in a few moments. this equity release thing. Get some of the money tied up in our home and live the high life. Jet off to New York, a spot of shopping. I'll put up the cash for a one-woman show. All right, I'm getting a bit carried away. The money would come in useful, though. Help us see the grandkids right. Treat ourselves a little. If you think releasing equity from your home could make sense for you, phone Norwich Union to arrange to talk to one of our experienced advisors. Phone free on 0800 092 5140. We are for dogs. Some people are for whales, others are for trees. But for us, it's dogs. The big ones and the little ones. The guardians and the comedians. The pure breeds and the mutts. We are for dog houses dog doors, even dog days, and we are for making them as happy as they make us. Strawberry Cheerios. Excite your senses with real delicious strawberry slices and whole grain Cheerios. Also available in triple berry. Well, we make bread, we make crumpets, we even have a product called Toasty, and we're at the top of the line right now. You know, we're putting them out like gold records. Price reverse now at B&Q means... Savings on over 5,000 products. This six-panel interior door is now under £16. Low prices every day. No. Time for a new sofa. Think sofas, think DFS. Plug-in air fresheners are great. 
as long as you can plug them in. New Mobile Air from Airwick is revolutionary. It has a battery-powered fan, and because it's portable, Mobile Air can be used anywhere for up to 80 days. New Mobile Air from Airwick. Come on, number two. We're going out into the field to find out about Learn Direct courses. That's Lisa. She went to a local Learn Direct centre because she couldn't see a future in flipping burgers. She's been doing one of our new computer courses for beginners. It's online, so she can do it when she wants. She'll have a qualification before you know it. I can smell success already. Could be the onions. For your local centre, call 0800 101 901. Nothing can stop you when you learn direct. Where's the loo? I'm sure it was round here. Oh, oh I'm bursting. Compared to ordinary cat litter, cat sand is three times more effective against odour. So even sensitive noses will need some help. Catsan absorbs before odour can develop. Saturday night is takeaway night. Ant and Deck are back with more surprises, disguises, little Ant and Deck and incredible prizes. Ant and Deck Saturday night takeaway, 5 past 7 Saturday, ITV1. Hello and welcome back to a very special Everything Must Go from the Ashby Canal. It's not your average show, we're not clearing out people's homes and finding clutter. No, we're going to be raising money so this waterway can be resurrected. What am I doing here? Well, you can find out a little bit later on in the show. Meanwhile, volunteers from the Ashby Canal Supporters Group are hard at it, preparing the Miners' Welfare Hall for the fundraising sale and auction, starting in just a few hours. We came back from having a chat with Jamie and Clayton, and it's all, it's all done, isn't it? It's all well, done. I thought this is why we had a chat with Maura Furness. Look out of the way. Because then we could let them, let who, who, it, who do it so well, without our interference. I've prepared lunch, yeah. and I've done one of my special curry salads. Everybody will be smelling the garlic this afternoon. <laughs> We don't want to drive people away, though. Do we? Well, it's it's good to keep, it keeps the vampires away and the werewolves. Yeah, this is true. So we don't want that. Thankfully, the Ashby Canal is not known for werewolves. It's more walking the dog than being eaten by one. But there's still six more miles to reopen before this section at Moira is reconnected to the British Waterways Network. Now, just time to remind you about today's competition. If you fancy winning £1,000, all you have to do is answer this simple question. Which kind of commercial transport favoured Meshamware? Was it A, road transport, B, air transport, C, canal transport? If you think you know the answer, just call this number, 090 11 treble 3 treble 4. Is the hull of this made from, like... It's called calico, isn't it? It's kind of, it's yes, the cover is calico, uh, bitumen, three, three or four coats would uh, seal it. And then the more you use it, you put another coat on whenever you want. And the wood's ash. Yeah, and they've, they've got quite an ancient history, Coggles, haven't they? It's connected with Welsh yeah. fishermen. There was one found in a grave in Iraq three, over 3,000 years ago, a model of a bowl-shaped boat. I understand you're going to donate one of these for the auction. You've got a connection with the waterways anyway. Yes. Um, which one is it going to be? Uh, I think it's this one. Mm -hmm. And can you give me, I mean, like, you know, I'm, <laughs> my coracle knowledge is, is quite slender when it comes to prices. Would you be able to suggest the sort of, the, the sort of price we should put on it? If you get anything up to £200, between £100 and £200, I think you'd be done well. OK. Well, thank you very much indeed, Kev. I hope I'm not going right. really to capsize you. <laughs> You're doing well. <laughs> I've come down the road to Church Gresley, to the home, in fact, factory of TG Green, better known for blue and white ware or Cornish ware, classic English ceramics. And I want to find out a little bit more. Well, Barry, this really is quite... It's, it's, it's an honour. I've never been... This is a bottle kiln, isn't it? Yes, one of the original bottle kilns from the 1880s. We have four on site, uh, and they're actually still in use up until the 1960s. Now, T.G. Green, he was quite an extraordinary character, wasn't he? He was an entrepreneur. He was, yeah. He made his money, actually, in Australia, in the colonies, where he got the contract to put all the telegraph poles up that were spreading out from Sydney in those days, in the 1850s. Mm -hmm. uh, made a fortune, um, sailed back to England with a pocket full of cash and married his childhood sweetheart. On honeymoon, 
met a man who was selling a pottery in Derbyshire, mm -hmm. bought it, although we knew nothing at all about pottery, and um, the rest, as they say, is history. I'm hoping this is the donation that uh, is going to help us refill the canal by raising some money for this lovely blue and white ware. We've got some limited edition mugs. We've right. got our flagship piece, which is a Cornish blue teapot, and uh, obviously cups and saucers to go with it, so we hope they'll go well for you. Well, I hope we do very well. Thank you very much indeed. Been a pleasure. Thank you. <laughs> Looks like Jamie's found a new hobby. Will we ever see him again, I wonder? Back at the cell, there's still loads to do. Well, we've had all sorts of donations coming in, in particular an awful lot of books. As you can see here, just about everyone's got books. But I'm so pleased because at the community centre in Meesham, look what someone's dropped off. How exciting is this? Fantastic. Look at that steam truck, Mamod, and you can see it's also got the trailer. Now, this is quite, I would say this is probably about 20, yeah, about 20, 25 years old. Um, they still make them to this very day, and they're rather expensive. They're made of metal and tin, as you can see, cast aluminium wheels. I mean, the trailer in itself is rather a nice item. And if I can just take the cab off, like that, you can see inside, that's where you put the little pellets in, which create the heat, and then you fill the water in the... Uh, uh, section here and you'd have the steam coming through which would turn this one here and it would operate that it's on a spring it looks like rubber but in fact it's a very fine spring and that would turn the the rear axle well new very expensive here i think this is going to make probably about i'd say about 65 maybe even 70 pounds it's a good item and it's a definite seller this is a late 19th century majolica style ceramic plate it features these wonderful creatures that we've got a snake and a, and a lizard in relief. Not exactly the most appetising thing to be served up on a big plate for dinner. Um, this is in the style of something called Palissy Ware. It goes back to a chap called Bernard Palissy <laughs> in the 1500s. What a strange name that was. And he was credited with the kind of development of this particular theme, the kind of snake uh, in a kind of a power struggle with um, the lizard. What I really like about it is the very rustic, organic look to it. Look at the, um, the moss here. It's almost alive. They actually achieve this effect by squeezing wet clay right through a sieve and letting it um, dry and then be fired. This is my favourite item in today's sale. Traditionally, a piece like this would be hung in the garden, believe it or not, on a tree trunk or by a pond to in, kind of invoke that kind of rustic countryside feel. And I think we could get, despite the damage here on the head and on the wing, between 50 and 70 pounds. <laughs> Now, this is a mining community, isn't it? It is very much a mining community. The whole of Moira was actually built on the minerals below the ground. Was it indeed? It was. So these plates here you've collected over a few years? Uh, well, over a few years since the collieries closed. Right. Um, when the collieries closed around and about, um, it was deemed fitting by the unions, basically, that a memento of the fact that the colliery was there was offered for sale to every... Uh, man who was employed there. Uh, the fact that uh, I was sympathetic to the Rawdon miners at that particular time encouraged me to buy this plate to support their endeavours. Um, now the fact that uh, I've supported their endeavours and we are looking at opening a canal which is going to support them even more in their environment, Indeed. I think it's now time to sell the plate on to raise some more money for another cause. So we should sell this either at the sale or the auction, we don't mind which, no, whichever raises the most I money. Mind. I don't mind. Thank you ever so much. You're welcome. That's really great. Thank you. Well, it's easy to see there's real enthusiasm and commitment to reopen the missing six miles of the Ashby Canal and return it to the delightful stretch of British waterways it once was. You're not working hard again, are you, Breezy? I'm working into the late hours. Yes, certainly. <laughs> I'm checking out the various um, silver-ish items we've got. It's not, right. it's not the greatest collection in the world, to be honest. No, it's not, no. no. Can we find anything positive about it? This caught my eye. It's modern. Oh, that's um, nice. That's nice quality, isn't it? Little pin dish or pin tray. That's nice quality, that is. We should get about eight pounds for that. Yeah, yeah. I concur. I will really? ratify that price. I've got, a, I've got a piece here. It's a christening cup. It's by Walker and Hall. Uh, so it's Sheffield plate. I'm pretty sure anyway. What I really like about this, if you can have a look, it hasn't actually been engraved with the child's name. So it's, it's kind of like a blank. I don't know how it got through the system, but um, it's doable. It's sellable. Six quid. A fiver. Um, EPNS Spear and Jackson. This is. Spear and Jackson. Mm -hmm. Spear and Jackson make decent quality tools <laughs> like this. No. 
No, that, that, that was a bad period for them as far as I'm concerned. That, that's not great quality. 15, 25 pounds, something like that? Let's say 20 quid in the middle. 20 pounds. Yeah. I reckon we'll get about 20, 25 for this. <laughs> Good quality, great handle, ergonomically designed and uh, right. <laughs> stainless steel. And you know why they make it out of stainless steel? So you can gaze in your reflection and check that you're still looking as handsome as ever. I can hardly see myself in that side, but um, <laughs> it's purely about the fact the mud doesn't stick. Is that right? Yeah, which is really, really nice. A bit like me, really. We've got the auction stuff, we've got the sale stuff. I think the auction stuff is tending to be higher value. I would have thought there's, I don't know, a couple of thousand pounds worth of auction stuff. Um, Sale-wise, there are some nice pieces, some sort of £20, £50 pieces. A lot of it's going to be in, the, in the, a few pounds. You know, you could pick up a bargain for a few pounds if you wanted to. Uh, there's a good mix, but I'd have thought, oh, let's be, let's say somewhere between £1,500 and £3,000, I, I reckon we'll probably take today. Hello and welcome again to another episode of Everything Must Go Chair World with me, Jamie Breezy Breeze, and my special guest this week, Clayton Byfield Richards. Clayton, what have you brought in to show us today? Well, I've got this rather stylish, slick looking chair from the 60s. Mm -hmm. And hey, I'm looking pretty cool. It's pretty funky. It's reminiscent of the work of Aereo Arneo and Arnie Jacobson and even Joe Colombo. Very vaguely, though. Mm -hmm. Vaguely. It doesn't actually have, unfortunately, a maker's name on it, and I can't attribute it to anybody, but it's definitely from the 60s. Vinyl, mm -hmm. polystyrene frame, mm -hmm. or polystyrene around a metal frame, mm -hmm. and a swivel base, and I think it's fab. Frankly, I think it's unspeakably dull. Yeah, and really. I personally prefer my wonderful peacock chair. This is a 60s classic. It's made out of wicker, often wound round a watten frame. I'm going to put a value of this between 40 and 50 pounds here, and that could be a bit bold, but on the high street, you could pay 120 quid for this. I could? Maybe not you, because you're a bit of a wily dealer. Would you pay 120 pounds for that? Listen, if you get 45 pounds for that, I should be amazed. I reckon for this, however, this very stylish, iconic 60s, very comfortable, and can you hear that vinyl creaking? I think we'll get 65 pounds for this, and I reckon this will sell before that. One thing's for sure, you won't find Brian or Jeff sitting around. What are you doing here? I'm kind of kicking back, you know, possibly considering trading in Mahali for one of these um, narrow boats, you know, it's a more relaxed way of life. How are you enjoying yourself? Well, we're working very hard. You know, I, I, I'm really excited about the sale and the auction. How much money do you think we're going to take? Well, I've forgotten about that. Yeah. Gosh, um, well, with the sale and the auction combined, yeah. uh, there's some good stuff there, actually. Lots of nice gifts in kind from the local business. I think a shade over £1,000. No, you will make more than that, mate. More than that. I reckon we'll make nearly two grand, at least nearly two grand. You're way off the mark. I know the auction's not up until later. The sale's just about to start, so could we have you back? Come on. I'm already Teddy. Winter, just the time to get sun kissed. And now it's easy to get the look. With new Summer Blonde Sun Kiss from Nice and Easy, it gives you the natural multi tones that summer brings to your hair. With 36 multi tonal shades, including radiant reds and bronze browns. Get summertime hair all the time. Sun Kiss from Nice and Easy. Colour Wonderful Claro. Good girl. Come on, Cameron, through my legs. Come on. Oh. Two bottles of Drinky Plus contain all the calcium of a glass of milk to help them grow. Munch Bunch Drinky Plus, great for growing kids on the go. From Nestle. With new Comfort Pearls fabric conditioner capsules. Red wine, blackcurrant juice, tea. Try the power of Vanish Oxy Action on tough stains like these. Just spray the Vanish Oxy Action onto the stain, then leave it for a few minutes to get to work. The active oxygen in the foam penetrates deep into the carpet pile, removing the stain. Let the carpet dry and look, it's completely gone. This sofa looks ruined, but watch! Vanish Oxy Action can remove tough stains like these before your eyes. Make stains like these disappear with Vanish Oxy Action for carpets and upholstery. Whoops! Sorry. Woolworths Offer of the Week. 
Shop Tales. Looking good, ladies. Hey, uh. DVD fourteen ninety nine. Remember this name. Ask. From the makers of Shrek 2, one of the biggest animated films of all time. You're sure to be hooked. The Academy Award nominated Shark Tale. Catch it on DVD 1499. Well, Wes, let's have some fun. Bloated, sluggish, not myself. When constipation disrupts my body's natural rhythm, I take Dulcolax in the evening for gentle, predictable relief. So by next morning, my usual rhythm's returned. Trust Dulcolax to help restart your natural rhythm. Take up to four small Dulcolax pearls to suit your own natural rhythm. Well, injury lawyers for you. Let's say I had an accident. How much compensation would I receive? That would depend entirely on the circumstances. How? Where? But I would be expected to pay an amount up front to sign a loan or credit agreement. No, never. Will I receive 100% of the compensation? Yes, absolutely. Injury Lawyers for You make sure all our people give nothing but honest professional advice on your personal injury claim. Call our team direct on 0845 345 4444 for a no loan, no credit, no catch service. Joe, you are the king of the jungle. Live the comedy! You are funny! Breathe it! You are funny! Mr Pasquale, you're on in five. OK, love, just come in. We'll be in a sec. <laughs> Swinging in for one night only. An audience with Joe Pasquale, Saturday, 9.15, ITV1. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to a very special episode of Everything Must Go. Today we're here by the wonderful Ashby Canal in Leicestershire. We're hoping to reinstate, rewater and reopen parts of the missing canal. That's not personally, of course, and that's reiteration, I do believe. Well, it really is quite exciting for us because, for a change, we're not downsizing someone's house, we're not decluttering them, we're doing something that hopefully will affect families and lives for the future. Now, I'm really excited because we've got a great sale to come up and an auction. The sale and auction is in aid of the Ashby Canal Trust. It needs to raise money to restore a defunct six-mile section of the canal through the Leicestershire and South Derbyshire coalfield. The last local mines closed in the mid-1990s, and in the years up to closure, mining waste was dumped into the canal. The plan is to dig that all out again and reopen the canal and develop leisure and tourism. There's huge community support for the project, and money raised at our sale and auction will act as a catalyst to draw in the necessary funds to complete it. Up for grabs today, in the sale we have a range of silver-plated items. A very unusual and pretty scary Victorian palacey wear plate. A stylish peacock chair from the 60s. And a 1970s vinyl swivel chair, a classic design icon. A steam-powered model lorry and trailer made by Mamod. And not forgetting the shed loads of books, ceramics, glassware emptied from local attics now laid out in the miners' welfare hall. The people of North West Leicestershire have been extraordinarily generous. Just look around you, we've got all sorts of things to sell today in the sale. Now what we need are the basic ingredients. Items, a hungry crowd of people which we've got outside, and if we can keep them here with a little bit of wine and maybe cheese, behind us you can see we've got an auction. Now this hopefully is going to be a great success, and we're going to raise some money for a very important cause. Look, there's a lot of people. Here. I know there's, there's a lot of people. Is that why right. you're panicking? That's why I'm panicking. <laughs> no, I'd panicking. have been panicking if there'd been nobody here, to be honest. I'd have been really panicking if there'd been yeah, nobody I here. I think there's lots of people. I'm, uh, I'm absolutely here. amazed by the amount of people oh, that well, are here. Well, look, it's what? Quarter of an hour to go. Quarter of an hour to go. They're queuing up all around the block. Yeah, just shows it. Something, and, uh, somebody must know yeah. something. Yeah, well, I didn't tell them, did you? No, I didn't I think that. I hope we're going to raise an awful lot of money today. God, I do too. All you have to do now is let the chopping get a bit on there. And, and then enjoy yes. it. You know what to do. Which side of the knot do you want me to cut? Either Take side. It. That one. Oh, hey. 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 Come on in. Tom, welcome everybody. There you go. Original, all in canvas. Oh yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. And an amazingly low price, just five pounds. Yeah, where's my money? 
Would you like to buy this? I would, yeah. It's English Majolica. It's in that sort of palace -y style. Do you know anything about it? Well, no, it's got quite a bit of age to it, and I do collect them as well. Well, I think it's worth all of the £60 that we've put on it. Would you be happy to, uh, to pay £60? Well, being that I'm a big Ashby Canal fan, and I spend a lot of time on it, I'm yeah? prepared to pay the money. Well done. Thank you very much. Earlier on, we showed you a Michelinware teapot commemorating 200 years of the Ashby Canal. If you'd like to win £1,000, all you need to do is phone in with the answer to this very simple question. Which kind of transport favoured Michelinware was it? A. Road transport. B. Air transport. Or C. Canal transport. Lines are closing in about 10 minutes' time. Are you a collector of this sort of thing? I've got one, I've got one or two bits of it. Yeah, yeah different bits. Is you that, have? Yeah. Is that 75 for the whole lot, is it? Well, I think £75 is a good price. It's all there. You can see. Let me just turn that round for you to see. You can see that, that it's in good order. Uh, it hasn't been used that much. No. The, 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 the fire is, as you know, generated here. Yeah. It's on little tiny spring pulleys which turn the back wheels. And you know what that is, yeah? Yeah, steer, to that's, steer. That, yeah. That's for steering it. Yeah. Um, I think it's great value. A little whistle there. Um, we've had a lot of interest in this, in fact, from a lot of people. Yeah. Um, so I'm going to have to push you for the full asking price. Otherwise, I can offer it out to the people over there who seem to want to pay at least £75 for it. Yeah, yeah. that's fine. Are you well, happy with that? We've got two of these. The Ashby Canal sale is really getting up ahead of steam. Great people, great deals and great fun. We got a bargain. Do you know who makes that? No. Spear and Jackson. You know, um, uh, it's silk plate, and it's £25 for the complete set. Sorry? Good price. Could I interest you in that? Well, I just wanted one teapot. Well, there's a lady looking. Are you interested in a teapot? That's the teapot, you see, that's the coffee pot. If you're interested in just the teapot and those two, um, you could buy the whole set and give that to a friend for a birthday present. It's a quite a good idea. So you'd have what you wanted. What do you think? Are you going to buy him? I bought him. I paid for him. You bought him? Two pounds. Two pounds. That's an absolute bargain. It was our only success. All I want to know is you can have this for nothing if you're prepared to dig out, dig out the canal. End to end, it won't take long, five years, six years, or if not, 25 pounds. Yeah, I'll take it for 25 pounds. 25 pounds. Yes. We've got pork pies. This is good, we don't normally have food concessions, so it must be very special, these. Well, we're in Leicestershire. Correct. And uh, two very famous foods from Leicestershire. One is Stilton cheese and the other is pork pies. Oh, absolutely. You know, and Dawn and me, that. absolutely. Of course it's not, not just any pork pies, no. it's Melton Mowbray pork pies. They're the big ones. They're the ones that are baked in a special way. They're, there's no support, so they're, they're, the sides bulge out, oh. and the meat inside must be fresh, British, uncured. That's natural pork, not pink or grit. And um, they should be made and baked in this area around Melton. Do you have like a back stamp on them underneath to guarantee their authenticity? We're hoping to. We're going for that. <laughs> We're trying to do what Champagne have done. Yes. Oh look, the world of antiques and pork pies meet. As well as free samples today, Leicestershire's premier pork pie makers have kindly donated a huge Ashby Canal pie to sell later at the auction. Brian, hello, hello, hello. It's busy, isn't it? It's really exciting. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. Have you been yes, taking money? Loads of money. I'm, I'm surprised everything is going to go before before I'm ready for it. Well, you see, everything must go. Get it? Everything must go. Oh, yeah, I wonder why it was called that. And the pennies dropped with our buyers too. They'll need to register to bid at the auction. We've got valuable lots from local companies. Too good to miss, so sign up, sign up. My mission, ladies and gentlemen, is to sell Jock the Dog within... Give me four minutes, is that right? Oh, hello there, hi. Hi, my name's Jamie, no. I'm representing uh, Resin Dogs Worldwide. No chance, mate. I'm making no. a collection. No, you've already squeezed 70 quid out of me. This is actually a good buy. It's a little bit damaged or, or misshapen here. It's about 1910, 1915, and it's a, a christening cup. Yeah. Do you have children? Yes, we do. Are they christened? No, they're not. Well, there you go. <laughs> Six pounds. Um, you could christen them. What do you think? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, £6. yeah like that. Yeah. Shall I put that in your yeah. truck? Yeah. <laughs> the price is eight pounds. Are you going to say yay or no? No. No. Eight pounds? No. Seven pounds. No. Seven pounds. Seven pounds. If I have to put that down there again, he's going to end up crying. You know that. Yeah. We'll whimper and he'll make so much noise we can't do any business. 
give you six. You give us six. What do you reckon, ladies and gentlemen at home? Is it six pounds? Nod your head or shake your head. I don't know. Yeah, it's a, it's a deal. Thank you very much indeed. <laughs> um, would you like to buy this chair? Yes. What do you think? Sixty-five pounds. Forty-five. Oh, I see. You, you want to barter? Yes. Just a minute. Do you think I should take forty pounds, forty-five pounds? It's not really enough, is it? It's a lovely chair. Well, we've had a little chat, and we think we need more. We need at least sixty pounds. Sixty is a bit more than I've actually got. Right. I haven't quite got sixty. How about fifty? Fifty. Hang on one second. Fifty pounds. That's quite good. It's getting towards the end of the day. I think we should take it. You too. Okay. Well, we've had a chat, yeah. and there's a lot of people out there, and they've agreed. Fifty quid. Okay. Because I'm quid. a soft touch. Oh, that cheeky Clayton and his chair capers. He's outwitting me yet again with his horrible little brown vinyl sixties number. I'm left here with a peacock chair, and not one person, old Leicestershire, has taken one bit of interest in it. What's wrong with him, mate? It's been a brilliant sell, and we've had loads of people spending all their hard-earned cash. The model lorry steamed off at the asking price £75. Most of the varied collection of silver-plated items found buyers bring in a sterling 55 The green lizard plate went to a palacey wear collector for £60. The iconic 1970s vinyl chair spun off to a good home for a bargain of £50. Happily, I found a buyer towards the end of the sale and the 1960s peacock cane chair sold for 40 quid. And books, china, glass and more besides found its way into everything must go carrier bags. Good money for a good cause. So with over £1,000 in the bank for the Canal Trust, what will the auction raise? Find out very soon. <laughs> What are you doing up there, Moo? I'm looking out for additives. Looking out for additives? Yes, you get them in buttery-flavoured spreads, but not in anchor spreadable. Moo, do you actually know what additives look like? Uh, no, but there's a strange thing over there that looks like a cloud with legs. That's a sheep. Oh. What's in your tub? I'm going to do this equity release thing. Get some of the money tied up in our home and live the high life. Jet off to New York, breakfast at Tiffany's, a spot of shopping. I'll put up the cash for a one-woman show. First Broadway, then the world. Mind, I might need a little nip and tuck. Bob's your uncle. I look like a real model. Mm, a waxwork model, more like. All right. I'm getting a bit carried away. The money would come in useful, though. Help us see the grandkids right. Treat ourselves a little. If you think releasing equity from your home could make sense for you, call Norwich Union to arrange to talk to one of our experienced advisors. Phone free on 0800 092 5140. If you're looking for a low-rate personal loan, Alliance and Leicester have set their rate at, wait for it, 5.9%. Now that's low. Lower than Barclays? Lower than NatWest? Lower than HSBC. If you borrowed £7,500 over five years, just look at what you could save. Call Alliance and Leicester today on free phone 0800 056 2212. 5.9%. Now that really is low. Alliance and Leicester, a real plus. Hi, Mum. Hi. You all right? Mm, just feeling a bit bloated. Mm, yeah, I get that sometimes. You wouldn't believe all the stuff I tried to help make myself feel better. Now I'm eating one of these Activia every day. It contains something called Bifidus Digestivum, a unique culture from Danone which is clinically proven to help improve your natural digestive transit when eating every day. Activia. Actively good. Mmm, Danone. Oh, almonds and chips. Let's get it on. You know the big dollops, right? <laughs> really, Moo? I think you should try new Anchor Lighter. It tastes just as good, but it's got 25% less fat than Anchor Spreadable. 
The ultimate Spanish property show comes to Bristol and Bath this weekend. Property experts are arriving direct from Spain to give you free advice on all aspects of buying your Spanish home. Whatever kind of Spanish property you dream of, we think you'll find it. The ultimate Spanish property show. Two huge events at the Bristol Ramada Hotel off M4 Junction 19 or M32 Junction 3 and Bath Racecourse off M4 Junction 18. I feel in my 30s. I'll soon be 44. Rock introduces Retinox Corexion. It's proven your wrinkles could look 10 years younger. Rock, we keep our promises. Well, these blokes are absolutely legendary. The Geeks. What's this? It's just a couple of numbers. And the Greeks. We're proud to be plain spotters. Mark Benton. Today's supposed to be the first day of my honeymoon. And Leslie Sharp. Plane spotting Sunday at 9 on ITV1. The Ashby Canal on the Leicestershire South Derbyshire borders. It's easy to see why this former mining community are so keen to have the missing parts of it back again. People dug into their wallets for the Everything Must Go sale, and now there's more money to come with our auction of over 50 lots donated by local businesses. And we've got passes to the National Forest Visitor Centre, a quality garden bench, a Misham Ware teapot, a handmade coracle, a commemorative rod and mine plate, a hand-painted milk churn, and a set of fabulous Cornish ware. Just time to tell you the answer to our competition question. It was C. Misham Ware was popular with the canal people. Keep watching, we'll be announcing the winner at the end of the programme. And now over to our volunteer auctioneer, Michael Fallowell. I hope you enjoy this auction, ladies and gentlemen. It is for charity, so I want you all to bid up because the Ashby Canal Trust really needs the money and needs your support. So we'll start off then, ladies and gentlemen, with the first lot. It's a horse-drawn carriage, pub, I would call it a drive, you may call it a crawl, whatever you like. What are you going to give me for it? Who needs £20 for it? At £20, £25, £30, £35, £35, £35, £40, let's see. At £40, £45, I'm big. At £45, at £45, £50, at £55, £55, £55, at £60, £70, £80, £90, £100, £110, £120, £130, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140, £140,
at a date to be fixed and they'll have a meal on the terrace and they'll have a look at uh, uh, MPs in debate and have a, a really good look at the House. £90, pound, 95 95 100 I'm bid. At 105 do I see 105, 110 I'm bid. At 115, at 115 do I see 5 anywhere? And it goes out at £115. Pounds. Thank you very much indeed. Thank, Thank, nice you. Thank you. Thank you. More good money raised for the canal. A pressure-treated quality wooden bench is next. At £40, a bit 40, at £45, 45, £50, 55, 55, at £60, £60, 65, 65, 65, at £70, at £70, pounds, 75, 75, 80, 85, 85, 90, 95, 95, 95 100 pounds. At one hundred pound, one hundred pound, the bid's there at one hundred. At one hundred five, one hundred five, one hundred five, one hundred five, one hundred ten, one hundred ten, one hundred ten. At one ten, one fifteen, bid one fifteen, one fifteen. At one fifteen, one twenty pounds. At one twenty. At one twenty pounds, it's sold to the gentleman there at one twenty four. The bid's on the right at fifty four. You go. Fifty four pounds. Look ahead. A VIP invitation to a National Forest tree planting, plus a certificate to keep, is giving Jamie the runaround. At £34, 36 at 36 at back of the room, 38 40 At £40, 42 at £42. At £42, I'll be all in at £42. At £42, you're out all there at £42. Any more advance on £42? One more go. At £42, £44. At £44, £46. At £46. One more go, madam. Come on, you like it, go on. £48, can we say? Are you ready? £48, then. £48. Fifty pounds. Fifty pounds. Two? At fifty pounds. What do you want? Boys, what do you think she should do? One more go. Fifty-two. Fifty-two. At fifty-four, he's bidding again at fifty-four. At fifty-four. At fifty-four. She said no. At fifty-four. Mum says no. Fifty-four. Bid over there. Fifty-four. Any more advance on fifty-four? And it goes out at fifty-four pounds. A really desirable lot next for the lovely TG Green Cornish Ware package. 50 to start and then bid 50 pound a bid 50 at 50 at 50, 50, 50, 50, 55, 60 pound. Do I see five anywhere? At 65, 65, 70 pound bid, 75, 75, 75, I'm bid. At 80 pound, 80 pound, 80 pound bid. At 80 pound a bid sold then, it goes out a bit sold out. At 80 pound number 46, 80 pound. Well done, pounds. madam. Are you Thank a CG Green lover? I am. Yes. Are you really? We went to the factory today. Oh, did you? It was wonderful. Jamie and I had great fun at the auction and in collecting some of the donations beforehand, all bringing in hard cash for the Ashby Canal Trust. So, there was the milk churn. At 12 and 12 and a 14, 14, 14, do I see 16 anywhere? At 16, bid 16, do I see 18? And it's been sold out at 16 pounds. Then there was the conkers donation. At 23, 25, bid 25. At 25, at 27, at 27, pounds, gone. 27. At 27, at 27, at 30, then 30 pounds. At 30 pounds, now make it three. At 30 pounds, then bids there, and it's sold, and it goes out at 30 pounds. And the replica Mishaware teapot. At 24 bid, at 24 do a C2, 26 bid. At 26, 28, 28, 28 do a C30. At 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds, 30 pounds. At 30 pounds, gentlemen there. You want me to put the kettle on, sir? Please. What's all this um, bling bling stuff here? <laughs> this is my jewellery. <laughs> stand up for us, please. Thank you very much. Just stand up. Just like to congratulate this gentleman for buying it. It is local. Thank you very much indeed. Will you put it in the office or will you take it home? I think this is going to go to my wife. Our final featured lot is a personal favourite the handmade coracle, a real treasure. Coming through, there you are. What may I say for that then? £100 for it, £150 to start it. Ten to start it then. Sir. At ten pound a bit, ten pound bid, fifteen, twenty pound, I'm bid, twenty-five, thirty pound, thirty pound bid, I'm thirty-five, and forty pound, forty pound, forty-five, forty-five, fifty, I'm bid. At fifty-five, at fifty-five, at fifty-five, at fifty-five, at fifty-five, do you see sixty anywhere at fifty-five? Come on. At fifty-five, at sixty pounds. I'm bid sixty, I'm bid sixty, I'm bid sixty pound. At sixty-five, at sixty-five, at seventy pounds, seventy pound bid, seventy pound, I'm five. At seventy-five, 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 do you see eighty? Eighty, eighty pound then, eighty pound. 80 pound, a bit 80 pound, a bit 80 pound. 85, fresh plate, 85. 85, at 85 pounds, I'm bid. 80, 90, and 90 pound, you'll see five, sir, 90 pound. And five, 95. And 95, now fill it up, 100. At, at one, fill it up, 100. At 100 pound, I'm bid. At 100, five, sir. At 100, at 100 pounds, and it goes out, and it goes out to 100 pounds. Well, 50 plus lots went under the hammer in our very special Ashby Canal Everything Must Go sale. A reminder of Moira's heritage, the Rawdon Corry plate dug out £50. The Melton Mowbray pork pie raised £30 from its hand raised pastry. Made in the National Forest, the solid wooden bench sold for £120. A set of Cornish ware collected by Clayton from the nearby TG Green factory, well, it made £80.
the milk churn made 16, the Conkers family passes 30, and the replica Mishanware teapot sold to the district council chairman for another £30. And finally, my favourite lot, a coracle made and donated by Kevin Grimley. It floated out of the door for £100. Well, the auction is now over. We have the total figures. It has been a grand day. And, you know, the bottom line is, do you want to know how much we made? Yes. yes. Sound more enthusiastic than that, please. Oh, yes. 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 OK, you've all been sensational, by the way. Thanks so much for your help. We made £1,156. No, we didn't. Yeah, right. we made more than that, I hope. <laughs> oh. Well, I, I, actually, that was at the sale. That was <laughs> at the sale. <laughs> oh, um, I, I've, I've had great fun, but to oh, add to that, at the auction, we took £3,312, oh, yes. giving you a grand total yes. Of four thousand four hundred and sixty-eight pounds and sixty-eight pence. Yay! Yay! Thank you. Thank you. Yay! I'm very pleased for you. So we've all had fun. Yeah, yeah. Well, from everyone Brilliant. here at Ashby Canal, it's time to say goodbye. <laughs> So if you'd like to take part in Everything Must Go, why not write to us at P.O. Box 10739, Birmingham B1 3WG. That's P.O. Box 10739, Birmingham B1 3WG. And please include your daytime telephone number. And today's winner is Julie Fraser from Abbeymore. So well done, you. We're heading to Barcelona next here on ITV1, I Want That House. Over on two, a topic I'll leave Trisha to explain. Wife, get your boyfriend out of our bed. And on three, huge scandal with an accusation of cheating in a frog jumping contest. Good to see they're working hard in LA Law.